Hey everybody, it's John from the Game Dude here. Today is a special day in the list as we are, um, I would, I guess, continuing our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I really haven't checked to see if everything's going the correct way or not, so I guess we'll find out. New setup, I hope you guys enjoy it. I enjoy it, so, like I said, that's why I hope you guys do too. I can't see how long the episodes are going, so... Hopefully everything's okay, but I might have to move the lamp. Like I said, it's completely new because new la a new computer, which is amazing. I feel good having this new setup. It just is nice. Anyway, I'll talk about the new setup in a minute. We need to do a team recap because it has been a while since I've recorded. It's been since March 30th since I've recorded. That is literally two weeks. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I don't care. We're doing this. Um... Um, oh, there we go, okay. Like, if I hit the right button, it would all work out just fine. Okay, so, is this the right stuff? It is a road. Um, I don't even know where we're going in the game. I just know... That last episode we went there, so let's just... Our goal is just to try and fight every trainer we can, because we need to get past level... 30? Oh, we are 30. Everybody is level 30. Um, oh, a Ralts. Okay. And that's all 28. So, a level 28 Ralts is definitely not something that we'd want to fight constantly. But, as a Psychic type, we're fine. We'll, we'll kill it with... Or, as... Since we're going against a fighting... I am failing miserably in life. Okay. Since we are going against a Psychic type... Our dark type moves will work perfectly. There, it only took a couple of attempts. But we finally got what we were supposed to say correct. Um, ooh, there was nine tails on this route. That would have been an amazing encounter, and I would have loved that. Now, Calico needs to get to level 34 in order to evolve, which is unfortunate to say the least because, well, I would love to be able to evolve Calico really soon, but that's just not gonna happen because, well, we don't have enough. Uh, oomph and enough like stuff that we can level up Calico with. So we're just gonna have to stick with the fact that you know Calico is just gonna. Oh my gosh, we got two crits in a row! We need to find the scope lens. I swear we either had it because that gives us like a 66% chance or something. Do we have the scope lens? I don't know. I know in one playthrough we do. Thunderstone, Draco Plate, Macho Honey, Zap Repel, Razor, Silver Powder, Soothe Bell. We don't have anything that evolves via friendship, so. Iron Ball, Metal Coat, EXP Share, Mind Plate, Nugget, Glasses, Lag and Kill. Okay, so we don't really necessarily have really good stuff. Nor do we really have any good TMs. D-Dance is a great TM, but we can't really teach it to anybody. So we're kind of just stuck with what we have going on right now. Let's just fight you. We want to fight... Oh. So much for fighting them. Oh! Oh! A TM! Okay, what is it? Oh, uh, we have to go figure it out. 51. It's Skull Bash. Okay, Skull Bash isn't bad. It's just not great. Um, so, okay. So, one thing we learned, too. Oh, that's Double Battle. Okay, we're gonna be very cautious with Double Battles. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Calico and Bulbas. Oh, this could be so overpowered. I just realized something that would make this battle super duper overpowered. Can we actually do that? I don't think we'll be able to do it, but we'll figure it out. It would it would take kind of extreme luck, unless it's something easy. Combuskin and Weeping Bell. Dark Void. Oh! Dark Void hits both? That's OP! Oh, okay. Way more OP than I thought. And then we're gonna go into Davy, because Davy's got color. So literally, we gotta just kept <laughs> whatever. Whatever, John. You do you. Dar oh, it missed. Darn. 
But I think it was the Weeping Bell that it missed. So, yeah, okay. So, we got the important thing done. And you're seed bombing me, which is fine, because it's going to do, like... Yeah, I didn't think it was going to do much. Dude, Stunk... Or Davies? Or not Davy. Calico is really good in double battles, actually. So... And I'm going to go ahead and just extreme speed. You also have Dark Void, so... Dang, we have, like, the best sleeping move in the game. I mean, I guess it's because it's a legendary Pokemon's, like, regular move, but still. Oh, we, we're getting crits. And you know what? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm okay with getting crits because that means that we're just kind of getting lucky and skating. But another one! Four crits in a row in our favor. Woo! I love getting crits. We had, we've gotten, that was a lot of crits in a row though. Let's be honest, I did not think I needed four crits in a row. Like that is actually luck on my side, which is like the weirdest thing. Four crits in a row for us, we'll take it. We will take four crits in a row. Also, we learned that our move Dark Void is just OP as all can be. So that's also nice. Oh, that was dumb. I keep doing that. I keep trying to, like, maneuver around people, and then I just run into them. Because, like, that's, like, the best way to maneuver around people is to run right into them. Oh, John. I, you know, sometimes you come up with the most brilliant ideas, and then other times, it's just like, what were you thinking? Is that 26 or 28? That looks like, that looks like a 6. 6 and 8 are really hard to just see in general in Pokemon. Uh... So, I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's an Ekans and we just kill it anyway, but... Yeah. Another crit! What is happening? That's... I mean, I guess it's a high critical hit ratio, but five crits? Really? Electabuzz. Hmm. I'm gonna keep battling. It's an Electabuzz. It's not an Electabuzz. And we're four levels ahead. I'm just gonna Dark Void to put you to sleep. That's fine. I mean, you raise your special defense, not your physical defense, so we're fine. We're a physical attack from Pokemon. We're okay. I'm I'm okay, and the, the lock's okay, so therefore everything's okay. We have Sludge Bomb, which is unfortunately a special move. I wish, like, if we could learn Poison Jab, then we'd be all set. Now, Skun Tank, don't get me wrong, Skun Tank is actually pretty good on the special end. Stunky, not so much. So once we evolve, maybe Sludge Bomb will be fine. But at this moment in time, it's not really the greatest, and as I'm gonna use it because it, it's good for preservability of our strong move. And bye-bye, Electabuzz. Electabuzz feigns wheel level 31. So we are we're making we're making some great headway here. Actually, we could have seen your stats and seen what was better. Um Wait, where is this? Oh, it's the cabinet. Okay. And over on this side is a new route. So that's Route 215. So that's a free new route that we have not gotten an encounter in yet. So, gotta keep that in mind. And then we got the double battle. Okay. See, and we're not that low on health. I think we only lost like 5 or 10 health. So, like, I'm not even really worried about the health aspect of things. I mean, I probably should be. Uh, okay, so Jigglypuff and Marie. Again, two Pokemon. I don't really have anything to be worried about. I'm gonna Dark Boy because it hits both. And then we're gonna um, go ahead and Giga Drain. Should I Giga Drain? I think I'm just gonna Leaf Blade the Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff seems to be more of a threat. Oh, wow. Bulbas is. I forgot how fast Bulbas is. Does that actually kill? It does. I mean, we're not running into very tough Pokemon, so, I mean, realistically speaking, I shouldn't even be like, Whoa! We're doing so good! You're killing Jigglypuffs and Mareeps and stuff like that! Wow! It's like, no, the Pokemon you fought in the wild were way stronger than the Pokemon you're fighting right now. So, like, why are you, like, so hyped? And, like, you're right! The Pokemon I was fighting in the wild were so much harder. Like, it was freaking Charizard and 
Nine Tails and Nido King and da 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 da. A list of strong Pokemon. So I should not even be like as I guess like. Wow, we're doing so good as I am right now because honestly, you're fighting and fighting easy Pokemon. Now at level like 40, so after the fourth gym badge, things are gonna start going on the like up or like the harder, harder for us. But we're gonna have a full evolved team, and so I should. I'm not even like. I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy at all because well, this is gonna be a d difficult lock. It's just ooh, Razor Wind. Okay. See, but Razor Wind is not even a problem. We just Night Slash it away, and it's dead. And we still take no damage. That gave me 800 experience. What? Slugma. You know what? It's a slug. Oh, it's a slugma. It's not a slug. Or a macargo. So again, another Pokemon that I can just Night Slash. And if we get a crit, it's gone. If we don't get a crit, it's still alive. But it won't kill us. I guess we didn't even need the crit. Okay. And yeah, we're just gonna Stunky. We're just letting a Stunky just roll with it. Roll with whatever it needs to roll with because it's all working. Oh, a Pokemon. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, so Route 215 upcoming. Now I'm gonna go into this milk shop place because I've never been. A clear example of me never actually being in this place. We're fighting in a- we're, we're actually fighting the hardest month that we fought yet in this episode. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and Dark Void. We're faster and should put it to sleep and we'll kind of go from there. I mean, I think Dark Void's only 80% accurate, so... And it has missed, but 80% accurate sleep move is just fine. And Night Slash, I don't know, I think two, two should take it out. Oh yeah, two takes it out. All they need is two. So artillery's down. We're level. We should be level thirty-two, right? Thirty-two. <laughs> I don't know how much HP you have. It looks like you have one. I mean, we're faster though, so let's just use Sludge Bomb. It so looks like you have. Oh yeah, you ha you have to have had just one HP. One thousand. Yeah, that's like the first time we've had a thousand experience. Uh, except for the Chansey that we fought, so. $500 a bottle? Well, yeah, but Moon Milk also, like, heals more, so that's why it doesn't. And there's just a lot of battles in here, so this is just gonna gain me some more experience. Perfect! And they're level 29, so they actually have a little bit more, um, the battles have a little bit more heat to them, which is nice. Um, Night Slash. Hammer Arm! Okay, wait, that's, I shouldn't even be freaking out. You're an Alakazam, for one. For two, Hammer Arm is neutral, it's not super effective. For three, it's dead. The Alakazam is dead. So, that's 1155. That gives us to level 32, so we are, oh, po see, but Poison, I don't... Wait, no, uh, 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 We have Poison Gas. Poison Gas is a status move that's 55% accurate. Poison Powder, on the other hand, is the same status, but 20% more accurate. I am glad I actually thought for once. Now, I'm never gonna click Poison Powder, but on the off chance that miraculously I decide that poison powder is a good thing to click. It's better than poison gas. So what is doesn't okay, so super potion is 50. Moomoo milk is a hundred. So we can stack up on Moomoo Milks. Because it's 500 instead of 700 for double the healing potential. Honestly speaking, I should be stacking up, but I just, I feel like I don't need to. I mean, we got 12. Oh my gosh, a Mewtwo. Okay. Okay, we're just fighting, we're just casually fighting a Mewtwo. 
Although it's a Mewtwo and we're Dark types, so Night Slash, it won't kill because it's a Mewtwo. Because Mewtwo is not that frail. But two will kill. Oh, now you're gonna Night Slash me. But Night Slash one. Oh. Oh, you just mimic. You just learned it. Oh, okay. I guess if you want to play it that way, you can play it that way. So, they're like, okay, you can battle these guys, and we did, and we won all those battles with one Pokemon, because we're just that good. Okay, anyway, so, from with that being said, we're doing pretty good. I don't really see an issue with what, what's going on and how everything's going. I know I'm not talking, da 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 because I'm kind of focused, and I'm also relaxed, which also is a good thing, but a bad thing, because if I'm relaxed, it means I'm really not paying attention. Well, that's again, it's a good thing and a bad thing because, well, I'm relaxed, so that automatically makes me in a better mood. Um, anyway, I just feel, I feel good. This feels right, you know? You know when something just feels right and you just don't want anything to go wrong because you know it feels right? Okay. Anyway, let's just go into Route 215 because we literally can. Ooh, there's fog. Uh, Ooh, we can honey this tree. We can, use, we can get a honey encounter. But I don't want to do a honey encounter. I don't want to get the encounter. That, that doesn't just... Uh, I don't like that. I would rather... Okay, is the fog... Does it say that there's fog, or is it just saying it's raining? I really hope it's just saying fog and not raining. Ooh! Marowak. Okay. On a Marowak, I do not trust Marowak whatsoever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go Shedinja because Shedinja just seems like the right play right now. You're gonna probably be hitting me with a ground type attack and it won't work. Good, okay. See, and rain is fine. So it's, and we'll see if you swap right now. If you don't swap, uh-oh. You have something to hit me. Oh no, you don't, okay. You don't have anything to hit me, you're just setting up spikes, but for you, what you know is there's going to be, so you know that something's going to come, or come in. Yeah, okay. So, see, and this is why I like Shedinja. You know that it doesn't have a move if it's just using spikes because it knows it can't hit me. If you can't set up any statuses he'll swap too, which is nice. Yeah. Like I said, Shedinja is probably like the best scouting Pokemon. Bronzor. Hmm. What do I do about Bronzor? I'm just gonna... Hmm, I could have Levitate. I could totally have Levitate. I only, I think Bronzong is the only one that can get Levitate. I don't think Bronzor gets it. I don't think that Bronzor gets it. Oh, I hit the wrong button! I guess we'll find out now. I don't think Bronzor can get Levitate. Oh, it does. <laughs> so much for me. But, here's Substitute, which again, tells me that there is nothing that this thing can do to touch it. We learned Bronzor gets Levitate. I thought it was just a Bronzong ability. But he's just gonna substitute himself to death. Because that's literally the only move he can click. This is holy. Should, should Denja only run, guys? No, I'm joking. That that actually can't happen because there's there could be random types. But I really think that Shedinja will probably die to something stupid at some point. But. Oh, I, I, he's, that's right, it like, tw it goes 25, 
It like rounds it down with it so that it can actually do this. But now you're gonna try and substitute, right? Oh no, now, because you can't do it, you're gonna click a move, which, see, this is great. Okay, I'm not gonna waste a lot of bug bites. I've got 35 wing attacks, so let's just use it. Now that it's resisted, but that's just funny that we can just do that all day. We can literally do that all day and it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't affect it at all. An oval stone. Okay, that doesn't remember what that does at all. But anyway, we can fight. This is another route where we can. Uh oh. So I thought you were a trainer. Darn it. Good to know you're not. You're probably a trainer. Nope, you just give me a TM. So the TM is a traditionally payback, right? But the question is, you know it's not payback, so what is it actually? It's 66, right? Bro, you just gave me crunch. I cannot believe you just gave me crunch. We're teaching crunch. Hold up. We're teaching crunch. Because I have a... Ah, because of course the one Pokemon I would teach crunch to can't learn it. Uh, random preferring same type. Calico can't learn it. Because ah, it's... But he's a dark type. But of course. Of course, like, the Pokemon I don't even... That shouldn't even have access to it can learn it. Oh, that's so frustrating. I was so hyped for that, too. I was like, yes! We can actually learn this Pokemon, too! Hurry, <laughs> hurry, And, uh... Oh, nope. You can't learn it. That's so... I'm sorry. You can't learn this, no. Ah, that's frustrating. Maybe when it becomes a stunt key or stun tank, it can. I'll try when it becomes a stun tank because it, it will become a stun tank. I will make it become a stun tank. Will it be before the end of this episode? Potentially, because um, this episode's not ran long. I don't think. I mean, it totally, it totally could be much longer than I'm thinking it is. This is why I need OBS. Oh yeah, it's only been a 21 minute episode, so we're a okay. So I think we can actually get to uh, the city that we need to get to. Uh, Vermilion, not Vermilion. Oh gosh, what is the city called? What is the city called? Starts with a V, and that's all I know. Is it starts with a P? Um, Veilstone. Got it. Okay, Zubat is next. I will just keep battling. It's a Zubat. I see no reason not to continue. Um, I'm gonna just sludge bomb because my I'm, I'm at half as far as my attack. My attack's been halved, so. Let's see what Night Slash will do now. Like, Night Slash probably will do less. No. Did about the same. But I think that it was resisted anyway, so. Okay, Calico is level 33, now the highest level member on our squad. Um, Drapion. Oh, we're gonna switch on that. I do, as much as Drapion's a great Pokemon and all, I don't want to lose Calico one level before it evolves. We're just gonna play safe with Calico at the moment. I know it's a Poison Dark type, so... But we're just gonna, like I said, we're gonna play it safe and that's all that matters. He's gonna use Snatch. But we use dive, so snatch literally can't do anything. And yes, okay, so yeah, we don't even have an item. Like I don't even have any items on my mons, I don't think. Not gonna lie, I actually don't have items on my mons, which probably would be a good thing. I could have used bone ring the whole time, but that's okay. It's it's dead now. We should have used that the whole time. It's dark type. And, uh, 11.35, dang. They're, they're really starting to give us a lot of experience, which is A-OK -okay with me, but it's weird because I'm not used to it. A cleanse tag, okay. Woo! We're making progress this episode! We're gonna get 
the rails down, guys. We're just, we just fight every trainer. That's how it works. Uh, oh, level 30. Our first level 30 mon that we have to fight. Actually, I think that's a lie. <laughs> uh, that's 100% a lie because um, Veilstone City Gym had a level 30. Or no. I s no, it was level 30, the, um, not the Veilstone gym, the whatever gym, Heart Home City gym leader had a level 30. It was with the Kofa Grigus was level 30. I want to say she had a Kofa Grigus. I'm probably way wrong, but I want to say she had a Kofa Grigus that was level 30, which kind of, wait, no, I am wrong, because Kofa Grigus isn't in this generation. Um... have a burn heal. Really? Really, John? You don't have burn heals. Here's that. Let's just get a lot. Let's just use the lava cookie. Because we're we've been finding them. Okay, route 215 encounter! We still haven't encountered them. Well we're going to encounter one at some point. Deep sea two. So we have the scale and the two. Okay, our counter for 215 is... Roselia, which evolves with the shiny stone, which we have! Yes! Okay, we can have a Roserade. <gasps> Roserade's my third favorite Pokemon! Yes! Okay, anyway. I think we're in... Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna have my third favorite Pokemon! I'm so excited! <laughs> Cause it goes Gyarados, Lucario, Roserade, um, as my thing as my three favorite. Then Rapidash is one of my favorites as well. So and then we go Rapidash. Um, and then like those are like my four. And then I gotta find figure out my fifth favorite Pokemon. I'm so hyped! We're gonna have my third favorite Pokemon! Um, in competitive, I really like uh, Milotic, which is going to be cool because we're going to have Milotic, and I love Milotic as a Pokemon. Uh, but anyway. Oh, I thought we got it. That would have been like, anyway, so this was quick. We have a nail. Um, hold on. So, Rose what are we going to name Roselia? That's the real question. What are we gonna name the Rosalia? We never catch anything in a Premier Ball. Like, I feel like Premier Balls are so worthless because we never catch anything in them. <laughs> you never catch anything in Premier Ball. Catches the Rosalia out of Premier Ball. Because the game wants to prove me wrong. Reverse psychology! Woo! Gotta love it. Okay. Yeah, we gotta give a nickname. Thor. Oh, that sounds like a really good name. Thor. Thor is in box one, so basically we have a road.